I could just, I, I, I could just take a peek. I could just take a, a little peek. Wow, thanks for making a really obvious game that a new session has started by bringing the fucking glitch back. God damn it. Eh. 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 Ooh. Pretty. I'll just stay right here and listen for any noises I don't like. That's the Aurora, isn't it? Hey, a rock fell off. Fucking hate it so much. Ugh! That's horrible. That's a bad feeling. I don't hear anything bad so far, so that's good. I just wanted to see what's up with this island exactly. And that's what I thought I'd see, yeah. It's a fu look at the floater. Look at the goddamn floater. Goddamn. Nothing bad yet. Is that the floor down there? It's really faint. Look at you! Look at that big ass motherfucker. Oh, that's the floor. I can see it a little bit. I don't know if that comes out for you guys or not. But you can just barely make out... Uh... Tiny fluctuations in the color. I hate it. I hate it. Alright, we're back here. Whew, let's go get some plants. You know? Let's see, did I did I get everything I was hoping I was getting from this place? Let's just... Seek fluid intake. Seek fluid intake. Where's the exclamation? Ah, go away, you other stuff. <laughs> Alright, so I got an indoor grow bed. Cool. And I already, I already had an exterior grow bed, because that's, you know, I already built them. One second. I'm grabbing my writing materials for my notes and whatnot, because I forgot to grab that shit beforehand. I basically always do. I don't know why I always forget to grab my notes right before recording. Alright. Seek fluid intake. Okay. So my goal is going to be to grab as many types of the plants from the farm as I can. Then like run back to my HQ. Plant whatever I can. It's gonna get dark. But the path from the island to my HQ has been historically safe. That's not my inventory. So I'm not super worried. Decomposing Chinese potato. That's not necessarily the biggest deal because I can grab a new one. Marble melon. Whoa, it got dark while that was menu was open. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. I guess, okay. I guess I turned around here. Oh, that's a concern I didn't think about. I have to get back to the portal, and I have to remember where that was, which may not be easy. Let's see. Pink cap, rattler. I already have those back at base. Let's not bother with those right now. Chinese potato and marble melon. They're decomposing already, and I can get more of them. Ming plant is good. Jaffa spore is good. Let's grab me one of these guys, a lantern fruit. Here we go. I'm right where I wanted to be. Marble melon, Chinese potato. I'll grab a couple of each of them or something, or a couple Chinese potatoes. Are they really big? They are really big. Never mind, because I need to also grab a piece of that tree. Okay. So now my goal is to find my way to the cave entrance as fast as possible, teleport back to the other island, grab a piece of one of these trees. I'm just, you know, it makes sense to grab it then and not now because it'll be fresher. And then I'll get back in my sea moth, go back to my base, plant whatever I can find, whatever I can, assuming any of it is even alive at that point, or who knows what the limitations are on planting in the first place. You guys do, huh? And then, uh... Once I've got my farm set up, then I'll try to make my way to those waypoints that are directly below me, but, you know, with vehicles, instead of being a free-floating sad boy. Man, I did not think to lay- okay, that's probably good. I was facing that wreckage when I got out of the... the cave. I did not really mark, in any way, the cave entrance. Admittedly, I don't know if I could have. Ah, uh, shit, because I don't know if I had anything to mark it with. 
I was kind of hoping I'd find the portal and then I'd go eat some of the trees over there when I get there. This is the way to top one of the top of the peaks. I think I was over there, not over here. Seek fluid intake immediately. In base four, I'm fine. All right, well, let's just do this. And click. This is an inefficient system because I only have enough inventory slots for one of them. But that's cool because I'm going to set up a farm. And now that I've got an interior grow bed, I think I can set up a farm inside my Cyclops. The main issue is just the Cyclops has severely limited uh, floor space and all that. So that might be a little hard. Ooh. That's a precarious spot. That's uncomfortable. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> That's it's extra uncomfortable knowing that below that water is just an abyss. It does not have normal island sloping sides. Hello. <gasps> Look how much farm there is over here. Okay, so I don't have to worry about running. If if I if I waste these samples, I don't have to worry about them being wasted because these guys are here. So there's they, they had tons of farm right around here. They we're probably near the cave entrance too. That's the spec room. I kind of came out facing this, didn't I? I was like, oh my god, look at that, guys. It's it's the it's the it's the aurora. That means I know where I am in the map. So I think it was like up this slope was the cave. I swear to God. <laughs> where do I go? I wonder if there's interesting, cool stuff that's important down there, or if it's just uh, more of the same stuff. I don't know. I can explore it with my vehicle. I don't know if I- if I hop down there, I don't know if I can get back up on foot. I- this is, uh, more of a problem than I was anticipating. Figuring out where the hell the cave was. Ah! Here we go. Right? Maybe? Ah, there's the portal, okay. I still wasn't sure, it could have been just something that connects to all that stuff happening out there. The cool places. Okay, we're free. We're safe. We're good to go. There's, a, there's like a levity whenever I'm above the, uh, the, uh, when I'm out of the ocean in this game. Where I'm just like, it's okay. Everything's okay. I'm okay. I don't like that effect, though. This effect makes me feel like something bad's gonna happen. Uh. Alright, well, that was a cool discovery. That went approximately way, f way further than I thought it was gonna be. There might have been a clue that it was a portal. I kind of suspected a little bit because it looks like a stargate of some kind. Hey, my trees seem to have sprouted down there. But uh, I was not prepared for it to teleport me to a new island. Wasn't entirely prepared for it to work. I kind of thought that I might, I might just put a key in it and then it might give me something, you know? Oh god, that's a, that's a big fall. Let's not do that. Not experiment with fall distances right now. There's a way down there, isn't there? Yeah, over here. Zigzag. Over here, there's a zigzag. It's like the... I like those guys. It's weird how they make bird noises, though. That zigzag path overlooking a huge abyss, in this case just being the water, uh, reminds me of Darkroot Garden, the little zigzag you take to get to the Black Knight. Not really a significant comparison, it's just a thought that comes to my mind consistently when I look at it. So do I have a- do I have a reservation over here? Look at me! Planting bulbo trees. They're, wow, they, they sprouted up. It's, it's been a f only a few days. So that, that's interesting data on how fast these things grow. Now I will cut one of them to take with me. 
And I'll try to take them home and plant them. Cool. Let's get our asses out of here and hope no spooky sounds happen. I guess it's already daytime. Oh, hey, the light's still on. Eh, nah, good job. 96% power. Just killed a fish. Alright. Get the fuck out of here. I don't like being here by the abyss side of the area. There we go. Ah, uh, familiarity. I guess we just confirmed... Am I slanted? Yeah. Am I not... Maybe it was just the local land made it look like that. It felt weird. Huh. Anyway, I feel mostly safe around these areas. I don't think anything's ever happened to me. All there is is the, the, the normal ass sharks that don't do anything to me usually. I mean, they'll attack. They're just not that very good at it. And they're kind of not that scary to look at. The stock, I mean, I think all of them would be scary in real life, but... In a video game, I'm like, how oh, look at that guy. Well, that's kind of nice. Oh yeah, that's a beacon. I ow. Didn't I place a beacon there on purpose so that I could track this location in the future if I wanted to? Or or was that beacon debris? I'm not sure. Uh, pretty much lost track of a thought I was trying to articulate before I took several asides there. Yay. Oh yeah. I think I just verified that flashlights don't consume power. I just left the flashlight on. I left the, the headlights on in this thing for like three days, probably, or something. And uh, the lights just are, the, it was at 96% power. I just use as much, uh, like, it, it, it cost me four power to get over there, and it just cost me four power to get back here. So, like, going each, each the trip takes cost me four power, but the lights cost me no power, evidently. Let's launch. And we have liftoff! Zoom! Oh. Mm, liftoff! There we go. I like my stupid thing. I probably could have planned it better, but I kind of like my, how stupid it is. Ming plant. Oh, right, you click on them. Full bow. Motherfucker! Mmm, this is a cost me time and things. Damn it. I just ate it. There, get your lantern fruit. Your Ming plant. Your old Chinese potato. Your Jaffa core. And your freaking marble melon. I hope these guys grow. There's only one of each of them on these things. It says growing. My little artificial island seems to be working out. Wow, that's big. It just starts out that big, I guess? But I didn't plant my tree correctly. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Wow, you can almost watch them growing in real time, can't you? That's actually kind of creepy looking. That one, I, I can watch that one getting bigger, can't I? Let's put my mouse on the top of it. And see if I'm imagining that or not. Or if it's literally just getting taller right in front of me. This is thrilling footage to watch, I'm sure. It is, right? Like that's how fast it grows? Yeah, it's already taller than my mouse. That's vaguely unnerving. I don't like how you look like a little, like a, I don't look, eh. 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 It looks like a head crab hatcher or something. Anyway, I'll spare you guys the time it takes, but I'm gonna go all the way back now. God damn it, the whole accidental eating of things. Where's the, oh. I don't have the waypoint turned on. Come here, you little bastards. Yes. Harvest. Harvest. Inventory full. I did it. Now I, now, now, now I can't eat them all on accident, because I have a bunch of them. Uh, 
At least that's the one I tried to plant first. Of all the ones to lose, it was the one that's easiest to get back. I don't have to go all the way back to that island. Let's get you charging, huh? Zoop. Welcome aboard, Captain. Don't sound that happy to see me, honestly. So you, so you only can store stuff by physically accessing on the outside, huh? It works, it just means you can't, like, smack things in there. I mean, you're gathering stuff while you're not in there in the first place, I guess, so it makes some sense there. I want to know what that radio message is, obviously. Give me a minute. Uh. There we go. You've got some of that grown over here. Right click. Hooray. I think all three of these are going to be trees. Maybe even more. I'm going to want... I'm going to want some plants. The trees seem like a nice go-to because they, uh... Give you water and food at the same time, which is nice. These are the these are bad quality right now, but they're not the worst. Those will be spreading. These guys are already along the way, huh? Chinese potato plant. So it's, it's up there. The stuff grows quickly. Some of the stuff isn't even necessarily stuff I'm growing for the sake of my own use. Some of the stuff I'm just I'm kind of collecting things a little bit. Like I don't know if the Ming tree is any use any use to me. I think it's just a virtually indestructible tree, isn't it? I'm not even sure if you can eat it. The lantern tree you can eat, it's just kind of inefficient and annoying. Right now, the bulbo tree is the one I like, although I probably should be planting... Uh, probably should be planting the Chinese potato plant. I'm a little worried. How do I get more of you? Because don't didn't I pick one of you individually? Like, how do I split you into multiple spots? Maybe if I just leave it in this planter alone, it'll spread through it or something? I don't really know what to expect. Now right, let's do this. Interior grow bed is four titanium. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's just garbage over here. Kind of feel bad about that, but also, damn, those mushrooms are not going bad, huh? So you guys won't fail me, right? You guys just have titanium lying around. Yeah? You guys got some titanium for me? Oh, you guys you guys are gonna disappoint me, aren't you? There it is. Don't worry about me, I'm just taking your stash. <laughs> Maybe worry about me. Oh, I thought that was metal. Dang it. I'm a little- I'm a little bit pretending to be less creeped out than I am. Cause I'm actually like still more- a little bit more uncomfortable around those areas. Once it gets darker and I get deeper, I'm a, I'm a little weirded out even in the kelp forest. Not- not so bad. But you're doing this to me, aren't you? Whoa, I am staying above the water. Cool, is this an eclipse? I don't think it is, but it could be. That sun's low enough. The thing is low enough. Anti-aliasing was taking a break, huh? Hey, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Health's still good. Nothing weird going on there. I made a fabricator in here, didn't I? Shit, is there not a fabricator in here? Oh wait, no, I think it's downstairs. Dude, 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 god damn, he kicks ass at doing that. Alright. Dude's just really, really good at climbing ladders. Like, too good at climbing ladders. Somebody stop him, he's a replicant.
could go in here. Could go in here. It kind of obstruct paths a little bit. There's not a huge amount of great paths. Let's see how big the indoor grow bed is. Oh, it's a little big. Doesn't really fit in here if you want a, a narrow uh, a through line to use. Hmm. Seek fluid intake. Huh. Not great news. They really do not give you a lot of room to work with. Huh. If I put it here, it'll block access to this really important thing. Uh, I can put them on each side, and then you just have to walk around them when you take your your way through the path, the backside. A little bit. Whoa. <laughs> that, uh, that fills things in a little faster than I thought it was. So you're pretty restricted on how much space you have. It's pro this is probably the best spot. That's probably the best you can do. I got some little trees growing in here. Ah, collision. <laughs> hmm. No, nah, it's gonna overlap the hole. <laughs> it's just gonna get in the way of everything. No. No. Maybe some of these little guys in the corners would give me a few options here and there. Probably about the best I can do. Uh, it's two titanium. How much do I have? Enough for... yeah, that much. So I can plant a few things in there. That gives me some extra space to work with. That's something. I'm trying to come up with food and water sources in this thing, because if I'm going on long trips, the, f the main thing I'm noticing is that they've indicated, they've shown me that cave system, and then immediately we're like, hey, you know this cave system that we already looked at? Well, we're gonna go even deeper in that cave system next to get to the other Degassi base. And I'm like, great. So get ready to get... Get ready for extended trips into caves being a thing in this game. Eh. That and all the messages about, like, this place is a thousand meters deep. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you and that insinuation. Uh, so I need to have food plans. Uh, this isn't the worst. I'm hearing boomy booms here and there. If you can grow a tree in there, then these actually might be more ideal things to grow things in than the, over, the overall bed. Because I could, like, line a wall with a bunch of those pots without it being in the way of anything except for, you know, what I might want to put on the wall later. Uh, whereas this thing is actually kind of cumbersome. It's kind of a... It seems like more of a thing you would use when you don't need space. I wish I had thought of the pots slightly sooner. I'm fucked down. How are we doing on... Our durability is fine. Someone's just banging out on my... my my ship. I don't like how loud that is. I don't like how loud inconsequential sounds are, is what I mean, basically. Like, when it doesn't mean anything, and I'm fine, I don't like how it sounds like it's terrifying. <laughs> but I'll leave this here for now. If nothing else, it'll grow these trees, and then I can use those as samples to s fill this whole thing with, like, more pots. Like, I'll probably put, like, if I can, I'll put four here. I don't know if the hitboxes will let me Visually it would work, but this game is really finicky with hitboxes as shown by the fact that I can't even put the bed against the wall uh, Really messes with my space usage. Am I sinking? Stop hitting my ship. I'm sinking aren't I? Wasn't that water like way That water was way that's that's the <laughs> It was way lower at first. Now it's like about to fill the whole screen and it's actually kind of uncomfortable Even though it's not any threat at all uh, Well, this is cool Got my setup. 
All right, so what was my to-do list I had? Prawn suit, uh, Neptune launch platform, water filtration, my single bed. Uh, and there's the life pod that I know about where Keen is. That's probably the next thing I'm gonna do. Uh, can't do water filtration until I find aerogel. So that's just like a to-do list thing. Meanwhile, wasn't there something stopping me from doing the prawn suit? Something I should be worried about. Hey, a single bed costs less to make. This list is getting long enough that I almost could use a search bar. Yeah, you need aerogel. So yeah, a few things are all waiting on me finding aerogel. <clears throat> and I've got to deal with the fact that I'm going to suffocate. Cool. Don't like those sounds. Like, what is even making those sounds? Oh, it's that. Is that you guys, or is that those assholes that suicide explode on things? I'm actually not sure. Fishy! Why did I cook a bladder fish? <laughs> I didn't think that one through. I haven't had to use a bladder fish in so long, though. That's... Ow. 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 Damn, we reached that threshold, huh? This is unfamiliar territory a little bit. I guess I don't really go this direction very much. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah, you stopped moving and then you died. They... really... I feel like they take a weird trajectory when they die, right? It's like suddenly gravity works completely different the moment they've died, and they just go rocketing downward. Growing Bulbo tree. Hey, how far along are you? 95% soon. I'm gonna have a- I'm gonna have my own floating island over here. Or just be my stuff. Chinese potato. Ah. Ah, I see. Please save my life. You're way more food than not food. There we go, now we have more Chinese potatoes planted. There we go. So that's how that works. When you when you pick up a Chinese potato, you get a bunch of them. So you keep polluting more, so you can keep planting more. All right, that makes that works very well as a crop. How much have you grown? Can I use you yet? Nope, I can just attack you. It's probably not a good call. <laughs> so my water source is... Ugh. Oh my god. Goodbye, stalker. His people needed him. That's happened a few times. It's terrifying. Can I eat you? No. I can just plant more of you for fun. I mean, sure, why not? Enjoy having a weird platform of those things. Ooh. Yep, that's more food than water, unfortunately. I can plant more, though. There's gonna be so many lanterns here, and they're gonna be so space-consuming. Yeah, until those finish growing, I can't get my good source of water, necessarily. Small marble melon. Good source of water. But unfortunately, until it spreads through here or something and I have more, I'm, I'm just going to be destroying my entire supply in one go. Not great. 